Hey guys, Sevens of Rebox here, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know a lot of people and their mothers have been making videos about this, talking about it. It's a big deal, and uh, I'm a day late, so sorry about that, but I do appreciate you guys wanting to hear my thoughts on the whole situation, what I think about it. I'm ta talking, of course, about Shane McMahon returning to WWE, um, returning last night on Raw during uh, Stephanie McMahon's acceptance speech for the Lexi of Excellence Award, the Vincent J. McMahon Award. Um, first off, just real quick, thought it was perfect. Uh, her doing speech, I was like, this really makes me mad. They're, they hyped this award up, and it's just Stephanie. This is stupid. Shane's music hit. I'm like, greatest segment ever. No, not really. But he comes out, the freaking place just erupted just them cheering for him and you know freaking out i was really happy for because i really love when return you know when people return and the crowd really gives back to them and, and shane mcmahon deserves that you know one of the best uh freaking just matches with um you know uh, vince mcmahon Shawn michaels you know all that stuff k and the ambulance match and such kurt angle oh my gosh was so freaking great you know the dx and all that um just it was awesome and he's not even a wrestler which even blows my mind even more um but basically they got to the whole thing where uh the reason why stephanie had gone so far up in the office ranks was because shane still allowed it he still has control of the company you know storyline wise he really doesn't um now but uh they made stephanie leave so they could talk about it basically shane mcmahon is blackmailing his own father he's got something in a lockbox i was under the assumption when they started talking about the lockbox and such, that it was just a great deal, amount of money or something, um, and that's what he was blackmailing him with or something. I don't know why I thought that, but apparently we don't know what's in the in the lockbox, and that's going to be a big part of the storyline. Um, so I really got thinking about this. So basically, uh, Shane wants control of Raw, which would be awesome. Screw the authority and Vince. Get them out of here. Let's have Shane as that role model, that role figure. Um, let's do it. But... Uh, if uh, Shane, if or Vince wants, you know, that lockbox, whatever's inside of it, that's blackmailing him. So he can no longer be blackmailed. And of course, this sets up the match. Vince says, you know, you all, if you can, if you win this match, you get uh, control of Raw. One match, I get to pick the plays, I get to pick the opponent. So he, of course, picks WrestleMania 32 against The Undertaker in Hell in a Cell. So that just blew my mind. Dream match I never thought I wanted to see. I never thought, yeah, Shane McMahon versus Undertaker, let's do it. Always wanted Shane McMahon to return, have one other match, and uh, just so glad that it's going to be against The Undertaker because this deserves a huge, huge match with huge, huge stakes. So a lot of people either loved it or hated it. They thought, you know, that's stupid. Uh, why would you waste an Undertaker WrestleMania match on Shane? Are we supposed to boo Shane now? Or, excuse me, are we supposed to boo Undertaker now? You know, they didn't get it. Oh, it's like 50-year-olds going at it. You know, who cares? Uh, Shane can he even go. Um, just, this isn't off my, or this is off my opinion, but I've heard a lot of wrestlers, you know, reading from their books and videos and interviews and such, uh, that, uh, these street fight matches, which I'm thinking this very well will be like a street fight in Hell in a Cell, um, is a lot easier than doing an actual technical wrestling bout. So I don't think it's a problem with Shane at all. I think he's going to do some amazing high spots, some crazy stuff with Undertaker, and it's going to work very well, I think. But basically, I think it's a great idea, you know. Uh, he's blackmailing Vince McMahon. Freaking no one blackmails Vince McMahon. No one has a little power or authority over Vince McMahon. So if Vince, you know, has this over him or, you know, he's getting blackmailed, he wants this done. He wants, he'll do whatever it takes. Freaking have his son get the crap beaten out of him. He's going to pick the guy that has the best track record at WrestleMania. So, of course, he he wants nothing more than Vince or to Shane to lose. And that's going to be against The Undertaker. So I think it's perfect, you know, if uh, I thought it'd be like Shane versus Big Show, Big Show is heel, um, but, you know, Undertaker I think is perfect. You want that guy that will get the job done at the biggest event in, res in WWE history, in wrestling history, you want it at WrestleMania. So, of course, you're going to go with The Undertaker. So I think it's great. I'm really pumped for it, honestly. Maybe they switch it. All, I, I really don't see Shane, um, I honestly don't sh see Shane winning. He still got his uh, company. Uh, I have no idea what it is, but I know he's still in head charge of a company. Um, so I don't see him winning. Maybe this is how I, I would think it would be booked or how it would go. You have Undertaker win. Um, then the next night on Raw, Shane uh, gives the lockbox to his father and then but reveals what it is, what's in it. So we finally get to you know laugh at Vince and Shane gets the last laugh. That's how I would book it. Um, finally see what's in that lockbox or whatever, but... 
How do we get uh, Undertaker booed? I don't know. Are we supposed to be booing for Undertaker? You know, why does Undertaker even care about this? Um, I feel like he would want Shane to win because Undertaker's always been a face, I guess. Um, but, you know, all I ask from the WWE is just add something and we're okay. It's like, okay, this is why Undertaker is fighting for Vince McMahon. Just add anything. I don't care. Make it, you know, Undertaker's pissed off. Shane can pull off a baseball jersey and Undertaker can't. I, I don't know. Just put it over anything. Freaking make something up so we're like, okay, that's why Undertaker wants uh, this win. That's why he wants to beat Shane McMahon. It, I, I just, I feel like it needs to have something on that side. But all in all, I think it's an awesome idea. I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be incredible. I think this really makes this WrestleMania special. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are, so please, please, please comment down below and let me know what you think about this. Shane's return, the match, Undertaker, all of it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 Box. And as always, have a nice day.